Hey Maximizers and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Crystal and this is episode 15 of my Coupon Beginner Series. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, go ahead, click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you a part of the Maximizer family. This is, like I said, episode 15. So there's 14 other beginner series videos for you to watch. Um, they start from everything from where to get coupons, how to coupon, how to match deals, specifics at CVS, Walgreens. I mean, there's tons of great content in the coupon beginner series. So it will be linked up here in the iCards and it's also linked in the description box. So you can go ahead and check out all of the beginner series videos. I created the beginner series for the beginner, for people who are like, I have no idea how to coupon, where do I start, what do I do, what's a coupon, where do I get one? So if that is you, if you are a beginner, I highly suggest you go check out the beginner series playlist and just let it play and get all the beginner tips and tricks, okay? So today's episode is all about one of my favorite apps. It's in my top two of rebate apps and it is Shopkick, okay? So in a second, I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you the Shopkick app on my phone. I'm also gonna insert some video of me actually using the app in real time out in the stores, okay? So basically, all of my beginner series videos come with a cheat sheet. Cheat sheet is linked in the description box. It is a Google document. So you do have to open it using Google Chrome or download the Google Docs app on your phone. You can print this out. You can follow along with the video. I also leave a space for questions and notes. Um, at the end of every single month, I've decided to do a live Q&A session. So the last Wednesday of the month, which I don't know what it is, let me check. We will be doing a live Q&A. So if you're watching this video before the end of April, it's going to be April 24th. Um, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we do a live Q&A here. You can bring your beginner series questions there. You can comment those down below and I'll be able to answer them. Um, if you're watching it after April 24th, I always leave my live Q&A sessions up on my channel, no matter how crazy they get. So go ahead, check it out if you have any questions um, it, to see if yours was answered there, okay? So the cheat sheet is what I use to actually tell you about the app and tell you about everything that's great about the app. Um, so I use it as my guide and then it's awesome for you. And again, space for you to take notes, put questions, all that good stuff. So before we flip it over, what is Shopkick? Shopkick is a mobile shopping companion. And I was like, oh, I like that, I like that. Cause it's not so much a rebate app. Basically with Shopkicks, you have the app on your phone, you turn the Bluetooth on on your phone and make sure your Wi-Fi and all that stuff is on. And all you have to do is walk into certain stores and you get kicks. Bing! Kicks, you accumulate so many, you can cash them out for gift cards. Or you can cash out right to PayPal. So basically you walk into a store, you do not have to buy anything. You can get anywhere from 10 up to 200 kicks for just walking into a store. You can get kicks for buying items. You can get kicks for scanning items. So you can go into a store, you can scan a bottle of water, you can get 10 kicks for that, okay? If you buy this bottle of water and it's inside of the app, you may get an additional 200 points because you bought an item that's in the app. I'm gonna go through all of that, but just a very quick introduction, Shopkick is amazing. Walk in, scan, buy items, and bam, you earn kicks. I think the lowest amount you can cash out for, I think is 1,250 kicks, and that's five bucks. So you can get a $5 gift card, one of your favorite spots. To cash out $10 to PayPal, it's $25.50. And I get that relatively easily. I can get $25.50 in about a week, depending on what promos and things are going on. But on a regular week, about seven days, I can accumulate $25.50 and get $10. And I use all of my rebate app money Shopkick included to fund my couponing. So I don't have to use my own money. I use all my rebate apps. So that goes into my why. Why should you use Shopkicks? First off, it's free. You don't have to buy anything. 
walk into a store, scan some items, get some points, redeem for a gift card. It's super easy to use. So I'm gonna show you in a second how easy it is. And it's a free way to just earn gift cards and make some money. Whenever I needed extra funds for grocery shopping, or if I needed, um, well mostly grocery shopping because they just recently added the PayPal. So I would always cash out to Target or Walmart and I'd go grocery shopping there. I would get items that I didn't have a coupon for or when it was time to buy meats, I would try to you know get like $25 gift card and that could get me a good few weeks worth of meat at Walmart because I could get some chicken, I can get some steak, I can get some pork, get some ground beef and bam, that's $25 or a little more, but at least I'm using $25 of Shopkick gift cards and not my own money, okay? You see where I'm going with this? We gotta make these rebate apps and these companion apps work for us, okay? So that is why I use Shopkick. That is why I think you should use Shopkick. It's totally free to sign up. Let's flip this camera and let's check out Shopkick. All right, Maximizer, I wanna make sure this isn't crooked, so forgive me if it is because I'm using a new contraption and it's not working like my old one and I'm getting frustrated. Here is my coupon stuff folder. If you've been watching some of the other beginner series videos, you've seen this before. We are going to Shopkick. It is this blue S, it is right in the center. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click it open. Now when you click it open, I want you to be able to see the tab. I hope that's good, you can see everything. Okay, so when it first opens, it opens on the earn tab. So if you look down here at the bottom, my fingers are here. There's earn, there's discover, and there's invite. So earn is the main page. Also, we have the account tab. So this little face right here, you click on that. That's where all your account information is, um, your account, inf uh, account info, any linked cards. There's a lot of shop kicks rules. FAQs are here if you need help, questions and support. I thought that was a really neat feature. Um, I personally haven't had any questions, but if you have questions or support, you can type your question here, or you can look for questions by topic, which I thought was awesome, okay? So that's the account, and then of course, all your basic account information is there. I'm not gonna open that, that's gonna have my personal stuff in there. So I'm just gonna walk through this whole page, this whole app, and show you guys all the good stuff. So the next thing I want to go ahead and talk about is the bell notifications. You see this little bell right here. You can click it. And the first side is announcements. And it gives me peps. You see in February I earned 1,010 kicks. Um, it tells me if I want to earn more, I can invite friends. And it tells me that I've completed 200 scans total. Nice little motivator, right? All right, so then the kicks activity tab tells you all the kicks that you've earned. I covered up this invite because it has um, someone's name there and I don't want their name on camera. They may not want their information shared. Um, so every time you earn kicks, it'll be in the kicks activity. So as you can see, I got referral kicks for someone signing up and walking in or scanning within um, the first seven days. And then I got scans kicks for scanning pants, scanning shoes, scanning a sports bra, scanning pants, walking in the Oshkosh. And then I'm gonna scoop my camera up because I don't wanna scroll and then walking into carters i also got 100 kicks so all of your activity will be there so if you want to see what did i do how did i earn this much or why didn't i earn this much you can you can go right there to kicks activity okay so let's go back this thing right here always scrolls with like the hottest deals and things of that nature um now let's get into the fun part so basically this page shows you how you can earn kicks and i'll explain to you what all of the little icons mean so if you see a little walking man, a walking man means walk in kicks. So basically all you have to do is walk into Walmart and you get 10 kicks just for walking in. You don't have to buy anything, you don't have to do anything, you get 10 for walking in, okay? Scans, scans means you go into Walmart, you scan these items. Guess the scans won't work because I'm not in the store. I have a video clip I'll insert um, here shortly that shows you what it looks like to scan in the store. And then receipts, if you buy anything on this list, then you'll be able to scan your receipt and you'll get more kicks. Similar to a buy rebates, check out 51 Saving Star. Um, Shopkick will show you what things are available on receipts. And if you buy any of those items, all you have to do is scan your receipt and you'll get those kicks. I don't know what's going on. Let's try Publix. My app doesn't want me to be great. Here we go. Okay, so here's the scans. 
So basically, we go into Publix and we go into the cereal aisle. We are gonna get 20 kicks just for scanning Honey Nut Frosted Flakes. And I'm gonna show you guys how to scan in a second. We find the Honey Nut, Frost, the Honey Nut Frosted Flakes. You click scan, barcode will pop up. You scan the Honey Nut Frosted Flakes. If you were to buy the Honey Nut Frosted, Frosted Flakes, that's where the receipt comes in, where you just literally click what you're going to buy, click claim, and scan your receipt, and you'll get an additional 300 kicks just for buying the product, okay? So that's what the scans look like. So when you go to a store, you can literally look and see what they have available for scanning, go around the store, just scan it, and you'll get the kicks. You do not have to buy. But if you do buy them, they give you a little bit more of incentive um, for buying them. You can get additional kicks, okay? So the receipts basically will be looked at on the other side, but if you go ahead and you buy any of these things, look at the dates. It has to be purchased after April 1st, after February 19th, after March 4th. You click it, click claim, and scan your receipt. Super easy. I unfortunately don't have anything to claim for you guys, but look, this is all the stores that you can go to in my area right now that are available. American Eagle Outfitters, 15 kicks. Carters and Oshkosh, 50. Carters, 50. All right, maximizers. I'm gonna show y'all how I shop kick. So as you can see, I got my coupon stuff app open, and I'm doing this now because the closer I get to the store, um, the more possibility my shop kicks will automatically come in. All right. So I'm gonna open up shop kick, and I am near Carter's. So here is the Carter's babies and kids, and as you can see, look, something already popped up for me. I'm gonna click no thanks. And literally, that little walking man means that just walking into the store, you get a hundred kicks. So I don't have to buy anything, just walking into the store. And look, there it is. It's telling me that I'm getting a hundred kicks just for walking in. And I'm not even in the store, I'm still in the parking lot. But you gotta make sure your Bluetooth is on. And as you can see, mine is, my location is on. So my Shopkicks app know, knows that I'm here, okay? Now, this linked card means that. If you link a Visa or a MasterCard, debit card, credit card, and you shop at Carter's, you're gonna get three points for every dollar that you spend, which is awesome, because I shop here for Kinsley. But as you can see now, it says my walk-ins, I got 100, and let me show you my total. My total went up by 100. So now I have 4,105 kicks, and of course I'll show y'all how to cash out a little bit later. So, next we're gonna go to Oshkosh, and we're gonna go to Reebok. All right, y'all, so now I'm at Oshkosh, and I'm walking up to the door, and as you can see, there's 100 walk-ins. So once I get to the door, I'm not even in the store yet, it'll go ahead and give me the walk-ins. Sometimes you have to go in the store. Where did it go? Oh, look, it went away. Like, it already gave it to me. So you see, it gave me 100 walk-ins, and let's go check my total to see if it went up. It did, look, 42. Zero 05 walking kicks so now let me show you how to do scan so we're going to go into the Reebok store and we're going to scan these items so when you see the little barcode it means scan which means literally all you have to do is go in the store scan the items it tells you to scan and you'll get points for it okay so let me go and show you all right, so I'm about to head into the Reebok store. I don't know if I'm gonna film in there because I don't want them to look at me weird. So basically, you can scan any men's pants, any women's pants, any women's sports bra, or any footwear. You'll get 35 points for each one. All right, it's kind of loud in here, but okay. So any women's pants, I found some women's pants. I literally am gonna click it. I'm gonna click scan, and I'm gonna put the barcode up to the pants. And bam, 35 kicks just for scanning women's pants. Look how simple it is. So easy and simple. To do. Next is any women's sports bra. So I'm just gonna click scan. And I got a sports bra right here. It's hard to do with one hand. So here's the sports bra. I scan the barcode. Bam, 35 kicks. So it's super easy. Go in the store. Sometimes it's gonna ask you to answer questions. I'm not answering the questions. I'm gonna exit out of that. So you literally just go in. You see what they have available for you to scan, and then you scan it and you get your kicks, okay? So now I'm gonna go get men's pants and footwear. So any footwear, I'm in the shoe department. I'm just gonna click scan. Five kicks, just that simple, my friend. So I hope you're getting the hang of it. So whatever store you're at, if there's any scans, make sure you just go ahead and click scan, go around the store, scan the items, and you get kicks. And then we're going to redeem those for gift cards or PayPal. Cards. Now, the other thing I want to explain to you is the 
is the one dollar slash two now in shopkick there is the opportunity for you to earn kicks for buying items based on a linked card so for instance at tj maxx it's one dollar equals one kick so i have certain credit and debit cards linked into my shop kicks i'll show you where that is in a second and if I shop at any of the stores that have this $1 for one, Ulta is six kicks for $1, American Eagle is one kick for every $2 you spend, Yankee Candle is two kicks for every $1 you spend. If I use my linked card at any of these stores, Shop Kicks will track it and they will give me additional kicks. And I'm going to show you that um, in my kicks activity. Back in January, I made a purchase at Marshall's. And I got some kicks. I was trying to click it to see if it'll work. But I got kicks for making purchases at Marshall's using my um, linked card. So if you link a debit or a credit card, it has to be Visa or MasterCard, into your app, you will earn kicks when you shop at certain stores. And this page kind of tells you where you can shop. So you can see it's not every store. It's just certain stores. All right? So that's another perk I like. Every time I go shopping at Carter's or Oshkosh for Kinsley, I always get additional kicks back. Because they always have like Carter's, three kicks per dollar. Oshkosh, three kicks per dollar. Look, Reebok, four kicks per dollar. So you get a decent amount of kicks if you spend, you know, 50 to to $100 at the store. So this is why I love Shop Kick so much. And then you can also earn online. So if you decide you're going to shop at Forever 21 this week, go to your Shop Kicks app. Click on Forever 21. They're giving you 10 kicks per every dollar you spend. That is amazing. So you click on Forever 21 from there. It's going to take you to their website. Make a purchase and then you'll earn your kicks. I think it takes up to 30 days for you to get your kicks. You see here, you want to just click that shop now. You'll be able to go shopping and you will get, it says, shop kick may take up to 72 hours to confirm and they'll be pending for 75 to 85 days after purchase. So yeah, it'll take a while for you to get them, but they're gonna come eventually as long as you don't return your stuff. So look, now it's taking me to that offer. I didn't mean to click it, but I'm gonna just click out of it. Um, I'm just giving you guys an idea. Groupon, eight kicks per dollar. Amazon Home, seven kicks per dollar. If you go to booking.com, seven kicks per dollar. So just this is just another incentive for you shopping online to earn some kicks back, okay? so. Another reason why I absolutely love shop kicks, okay? Next thing I wanted to show you all that I forgot to show you is going to be the linked card option. So when you go up here to your account, you can go into linked cards. Now on this account, I don't have any cards linked. So basically how I got those points back from Marshalls is because I linked a Visa debit or credit card. And then when you buy things with your linked card, you get um, kicks. So all you have to do is click a link card. You can choose Visa or MasterCard and you can scan the card or you can type it in. So all you have to do is go here, link a card, and then once they're linked, you'll see them sitting here. And then you, all you have to do is just use one of those cards when you shop at one of the places that has, um, you know, linked kicks. And then you'll see them, you know, pop in like I showed you guys for Marshall. So I want to take a chance and show you that on an account that doesn't have any cards linked so you can't see all my card numbers all right so that is the main tab next we have discover my mother discovered this and she was like oh my gosh chris did you know you could do this basically you can watch short commercials videos stories about these items and you get a kick so for each one of these you watch you get a kick saying goodbye to your old phone you're going to get three kicks for watching like these Matt or Shiny Sally Hansen, you get three kicks. Ulta Beauty Must Haves, you get five kicks. So literally you can come in here, watch something, and you are going to earn additional kicks. So if you are looking to waste some time, or you have some extra time on your hands, you're traveling, let's say on a train, bus, you have some idle time, go ahead. You can earn 20, 30, 50 kicks just by sitting there watching some 10 to 15 second videos. Definitely worth it. When I'm bored, I definitely go ahead and I watch some of these to build up my kicks, okay? So that is the Discover tab. And then we have Invite, which is where you earn referral bonuses. And I have been super um, excited to share this with you all because 
Whenever you invite someone to sign up for Shop Kicks, you will earn 250 kicks and they earn 250 kicks. Now, the only caveat is they have to walk into a store and get walking kicks or they have to scan an item in a store to get scan kicks within seven days of them signing up for the app. Once you pass seven days, you won't get those kicks anymore. So if you're referring your friends, your family, make sure you tell them, hey, let's walk in or scan within seven days of you signing up or you won't get your your bonus kicks now a big suggestion everybody in the household should have shop kicks so if you have a smartphone you should have shop kicks make it a family affair imagine if you your husband and your two teenage kids all have shop kicks you all go grocery shopping okay you all go to the store together you go to a shopping plaza you all get you know 1500 kicks that's more than enough for everyone to redeem for five dollars at walmart or target so you could potentially make twenty dollars in one afternoon just by you guys scanning some items in store and walking into a couple stores you could make twenty dollars if you have four people in your family with smartphones so Everybody in the household with a smartphone needs to have shop kicks. Refer each other so you continue to get the referral bonuses. Um, this is a great way to make some extra to make some extra money. Essentially, refer everyone. You can post right onto your social media sites. You can email people. You can text people directly. You can copy your link and post it wherever you want. Go ahead and make these apps work for you. This is a very easy app. So if you don't want to deal with a bada, or you have somebody who doesn't want to deal with a bada. Check out 51, too complicated. Have them do shop kicks. Super simple, super easy, and a great way to earn some free gift cards. So refer everyone. Um, before I was on YouTube, I would literally um, probably like once a month on Facebook just share my link and share like a quick experience. Like, hey, I earned, you know, 2,000 kicks this month or 3,000 or I earned 1,000 this week. You should sign up. I just cashed out for a $10 gift card. I would share it and people would sign up. And I have so many referrals from when I wasn't even on YouTube of people who have signed up for Shopkicks and have really been killing it. So I highly suggest, highly suggest you sign up for it. If you're not signed up for it, this is my referral code. It's linked in the description box. Click it, sign up, scan or do a walk-in within the first seven days of you joining and get your 250 kicks, okay? So let me go back to the main page. I want to show you the kicks center and how I cash out. So this number right here, you can see that number at the top. This is how many kicks I have right now. And I'm going to admit I have not cashed out at all in March. And I have not done shop kicks a lot in March. March has been crazy for me. But I've been using my other rebate apps a lot. So some months you use more apps than others. Totally okay. But now I'm going to cash out to show you guys how to cash out. So once you click on your kicks, it takes you to the kicks center. This is where you choose your prizes. Okay. So right now I have my prize on PayPal, but let me move this up so you can see the reward option. So I'm going to click on that. And literally, these are all the gift cards you can choose from. So I'm just going to scroll through some. We have Target. We have the TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Walmart. Feeding America, GameStop, Amazon, Best Buy, Starbucks, Ulta, Old Navy, Cheesecake Factory, Carter's and Oshkosh, Sephora. You can also use this as a treat. You really want to go to the movies, don't want to spend your own money, or you want to lessen your out-of-pocket, cash out for an AMC movie gift card, okay? Around Christmas time, you want to buy things. Look, a spa and wellness gift card, Groupon, even Uber, okay? There's Disney gift cards, Fandango. You got to have a little bit more kicks. Hotels.com, going out of town. I think this is $25. You got to have $6,250. $25 to Hotels.com. There's also Tory Burch, that's huge, and Tiffany & Co. I don't ever go down, down around those parts. The most I ever redeemed for, obviously, is $25. Um, and these have different denominations. So if you do, you look at AMC... You can go through and it'll tell you how many kicks you need to redeem for an AMC gift card. So you can redeem for as low as 10 and as much as 50. You need 12,500 
to get it. Say this is the reward you want. You can literally click set reward goal. And then when you go back to my main page, you'll see that a $50 AMC gift card is now my reward. Great thing about Shopkicks is that you can change your reward as much as you want. Okay. So I'm going to change mine back to my old faithful, which is PayPal. And you can see for PayPal, you can cash out five, you can cash out 10, or you can cash out 25. I do PayPal because that's cash and I use that to coupon. All right. So I love Shopkick. There's so much you can do here. Um, there's so much you can earn here. Get your free gift cards. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's just, this is just showing you how many times I've cashed out. I should probably archive these because these are all used already. Um, that just shows you all of my rewards thus far. So, whoop, change reward. Back to PayPal. And I'm going to show you guys how to cash out. So, when you're ready to cash out, all you have to do is click on it. I don't know if my personal information is going to come up yet. Okay. So, it pops up. It says, use your kicks for cash by redeeming a PayPal credit. All PayPal credits includes a 50 kick transaction fee. So I have to pay 50 kicks for transaction. Totally fine. I'm going to click redeem. I think my email is going to come up. So let's see. So right now I'm going to hit the blue bar right here, redeem. Super easy to do. It says, we think you'll love it, but we can't refund any kicks. Once kicks are redeemed, it's final. So it's asking me, am I sure I want to cash out to PayPal? Yes, I'm sure I want to cash out to PayPal. I'm going to click yes. Now it's asking me to put in my PayPal email. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come right back. All right. Sorry, this is super crooked. If this is really crooked, forgive me. So now it's asking me, do I want to send $10 to my PayPal email? Because once you do it, it can't be... Um, refund it. I'm going to click send. So now it's telling me to check my email address because the $10 confirmation has been sent there. So I'm going to click done. And now you can see back to my kick center. I'm down to 2,045 kicks. I need a little bit more to hit that 2550 to cash out again to PayPal. Okay. So it's super simple. And then now I can go down here to my rewards. And the one that I just cashed out is still pending. You can see it takes like five to 10 minutes. So I suggest cashing out a few hours before you plan to go somewhere. I have cashed out in Walmart before. And by the time I got to the register, it was ready to go. Okay. Um, so I think that is pretty much it. I went through the cash center. I went through the cash out, the kick center. I went through pretty much everything. Again, I highly recommend Shopkick. One of my favorite apps. I've been using it for a long time. Before they had this PayPal option, I always cashed out to Walmart and Target so that I can use those towards my groceries or if I really needed something and it was expensive, I would cash out a gift card and use that gift card. And this one is one of the only ones that's totally free because you don't necessarily have to buy anything. Um, if you do buy something, it's a plus. But most of my points, I'll say 90% of my points are walk-ins and scans. The other 10% are referral and if I purchase something like at Carter's or Marshall's or something like that but 90% come from walk-ins and scans okay if you have any questions please comment those down below um, can't believe we're up to 15 episodes of the beginner series if you are enjoying the beginner series comment let me know if you have any suggestions if you have any topics that you're interested in you'd like me to cover as far as coupon uh, beginner questions or beginner topics just let me know I love to set up a video. I want to make sure that my content is useful and it's something that we all need. Okay. And that is it. Maximizers for episode 15 of the coupon beginner series, all about the shop kicks app. I hope this video was helpful. Again, if you have questions, please comment those down below. I hope you find shop kick very easy to use. Like I said, it's in my top two favorite apps. If you're interested in any one-on-one -on -one coaching, I am here to help you with couponing, maximizing your life, budgeting, whatever you need. I'm here to assist you. The link will be in the description box. Um, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.